John here from No Joke NHL. It's Sunday, April the 29th, and uh, here to do an interim report. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do any for the weekend, but I got a chance to do one, so I figured I'd recap a couple of the games that we've had played. We've had three of the four series get started here, and uh, we still have one to go this afternoon, the Philly-New Jersey series. Um, I just sent out a uh, tweet to... Uh, in case you haven't seen that video, the preview for New Jersey and Philadelphia. So let's get to recapping the games. Friday night we had uh, Nashville uh, going on the road at Phoenix, opening up their uh, conference semifinal. And uh, it was the Phoenix Coyotes going to overtime, no kidding, uh, to beat the Nashville Predators in game one of their series. And uh, I kind of had, uh, you know, a, a reservation that maybe the Phoenix Coyotes were going to take game one just because of the layoff from the uh, Predators and going out there. And, uh, you know, they did look a little rusty. However, at the end of the day, the Predators really, uh, you know, brought their A game uh, out shooting the uh, Coyotes 42-24 to 24, um, and actually controlling that overtime period, uh, playing most of it down in the Phoenix end until Whitney was able to get the game winner uh, against Rene. And uh, probably one of the reasons why the week off probably hurt somebody the most, it was probably Pekka Rene, who, you know, like I said, in game action with the speed and you know, everything coming at you, uh, you can't remain as sharp as you could. And, and a couple of the goals that Rene let up, uh, let in early on in the game, uh, what, what was the difference in my opinion. Um, I still like the Predators here. Uh, in this series. Like I said, I don't think Phoenix has enough weapons to stay there, Mike Smith being the predominant factor. And, you know, a couple of Nashville people contacted me and were, you know, saying like, yeah, but we outshot, you know, well, you know, Blackhawks pretty much uh, outshot them by 10 to, 10 to 15 shots per game, and you saw the result of that series. So just out shooting this Phoenix Coyote team is not enough. However, uh, you know, like I said, I think Nashville has way more weapons than the Blackhawks offensively and defensively. And then, of course, they have Pecorine versus uh, uh, Corey Crawford for the Blackhawks. So I look for this game here. Uh, game two, same line that was going forward. Uh, Nashville, a slight favorite, minus 120. The comeback on Phoenix is a uh, even. So if you're a Phoenix believer, uh, you can get them an even on home ice here. Uh, but if you recall from the first series, they did lose to the Blackhawks, and the Blackhawks had their highest offensive output uh, four goals to uh, three in that second game of the first round series. So I kind of look for the Predators to be regrouped and uh, you know ready for Bear coming in tonight. So uh, Phoenix Coyotes need to have their A game in order to come out of this one alive. So uh, when I get to the selections part, uh, probably going to have a play on the Predators there. Uh, the two games yesterday, very entertaining. Uh, Capitals uh, went into New York, uh, Madison Square Garden to face the New York Rangers in their second round series. And uh, so the uh, Rangers come out with a 3-1 to one, uh, victory in Game 1. Uh, basically, both teams brought the same style play that we saw in the first round of the series. Capitals playing an outstanding defensive game, uh, holding the Rangers to eight shots through the first two periods uh, before the Rangers get two quick ones in the third period. Um, reading a lot of articles on ESPN uh, about you know how the Rangers shut down the Capitals, the Capitals stars weren't able to do anything and they're gonna need their stars more and all that stuff and I agree wholeheartedly with that opinion. However, uh, I'm not gonna attribute this to a lack of production by the Capitals stars uh, on net, namely Ovechkin and Semin. Uh, they had you know chances, I mean Ovechkin you know whiffed on a couple shots uh, had a couple turnovers. It was a minus one at the end of the day. Semin, uh, Semin taking a stupid penalty in the second period uh, when they had a power play. Um, you know, they, they, a couple bad calls as well. Uh, Takedown on a uh, you know clear breakaway on uh, Lundqvist. Uh, Lundqvist didn't even control the shot, and then you know because of the takedown, both players careened in the net with the puck going in. I'm not even saying that should have been a goal but at a minimum should have been a power play opportunity for the Capitals. Uh, I'm going to lay this loss uh, on the shoulders of Braden Holtby, uh, who was not you know, uh, as stellar as he was in the Boston series. Part of that could be because, uh, because of the lack of action in the first two periods, and all of a sudden when the pressure was put on in the third period, um, and not even really a ton of pressure, as you know, the Rangers managed two more shots in the third period than they did in the first two. So 
uh, you know, re re really not an outstanding offensive effort. So I'm going to lay this one squarely on the shoulders of Braden Holpe to get it done. So game two, of course, for this going Monday night. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be looking really long and hard at the series price on the Capitals here. We should get a really nice, juicy return here with the number one seed winning on home ice uh, and forcing the Capitals to uh, you know, at least win one or more games on the Ranger ice to take this. So I'm going to be looking uh, with interest to that. Last night we saw the Los Angeles Kings and St. Louis Blues open up their series with the Kings in a 3-1 victory. Once again, the Kings on special teams get another shorthanded goal. This time um, it was uh, Green getting the uh, shorthanded goal against the Blues power play. Um, you know, again, it's another tight series. The shots on goal, 29 apiece, so pretty even there. Uh, both teams uh, shooting a lot, you know, in the first period, 13 to 11 in favor of the Blues, and next slowed down to a 9 to 8 uh, differential uh, with the Kings leading in, in that area in this, the last two periods. Um, Quick was, uh, was very good. As, as advertised, Brian Elliott, um, you know, was very good as well, however, letting in. Uh, two goals, and of course the final one being an empty netter. So uh, congratulations to Kings backers on there in the first round, I mean in the first game of this series, with taking them at plus 140, 145. I laid off on action on the game. I uh, was looking at possibly taking the over with the steam coming there. Looked long and hard at over one and a half in the first period, uh, which was at a gaudy plus 180, and did cover, but did not play. Uh, so something to move forward, you know, when you're trying to beat you know, like I said, it's clear that the Bucks and the public and these goaltenders are going to keep pucks out of the net. So uh, if you're looking to play totals or you're a totals player, then maybe you want to look at something like that. So two games today. We have, like I said, we have Nashville and Phoenix going tonight. Um, and in the afternoon on NBC, we have the um, New Jersey-Philadelphia series getting off to their start. Uh, I, I kind of lean to the New Jersey Devils. Uh, I'm not crazy about backing them or you know, uh, doing that. I think the price is a little short here on the Devils. But one thing I'm looking long and hard at is this total uh, lined at 5.5 with the over 5.5 at plus 130 and the under 5.5 at minus 155. Uh, this is the Philadelphia Flyers we're talking about and this is uh, an older uh, Marty Brodeur. So I, I really don't see you know, the defensive uh, struggles that we're going to see in these other three series besides this one. So uh, I'm really going to, uh, I'm, I'm really looking to make a nice uh, play. I'm going to wait and hold out until probably game time, let all the juice to the under uh, fly in there, and then take the inflated overprice, like I said, which stands at right now, you can get it at uh, 130, uh, you know, over at 130, uh, 135 at reduced juice shops. And so I'm looking at maybe game time possibly being able to get a plus 140 there. So uh, I will keep you posted there, but I'm definitely on the over here. Uh, you know, as I said in the preview video, Flyers, uh, Flyers really need to find a defensive gear here. Uh, you know, the final game of that Pittsburgh series, they were able to hold the Penguins down to, uh, you know, with just one goal, but uh, that was for the only time in the series. Other than that, uh, Brizgalov was awful, as well as their defense. So uh, hopefully, you know, with the time off they've had to uh, practice, you know, that they've, they've been able to, you know, plan a defensive game here. And for the Devils to be successful, they're going to have to find another offensive gear because clearly, uh, with the Flyers, you know, filling the net, uh, you know, ad nauseum against the uh, Penguins, you know, Flyers have some offensive weapons, probably more so than the Devils. Uh, but, but like I said, they need to find a defensive gear here. So uh, rather than take a side one way or another, I'm going to jump on the total and play an over. So uh, in tonight's game, I, I, I do like the Predators to come back and be strong here. Um, I went with a silly uh, puck line in the first game, and uh, maybe I'm going to get silly here again. I kind of like the Predators here to do this. Maybe I'll take them at uh, minus a half in regulation. might be the safer play than trying to get the minus one and a half with Smith still, uh, you know, holding teams down uh, in this playoff. So, uh, so, so why, don't, why, don't we, why don't we make it a uh, over five and a half at plus 135 or better in the New Jersey-Philadelphia game. And in tonight's game, let's go with a, a minus half in regulation on the Predators uh, at a plus 135, 140 
wherever you can get it at your out. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow, of course, to recap these two games today and uh, to give us any selections moving forward. Capitals Bruins get or Capitals Bruins, Capitals Rangers uh, game two tomorrow night as well as other games. So uh, we'll be back with a report tomorrow and let you know our selections there. Uh, so let's enjoy the hockey today, and uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.